an irate Delta passenger is putting the airline on blast after they checked her bag and mangled her priceless handmade family heirlooms, only offering her $530 in compensation for the items. Twitter user at TIGERLILY007 posted a series of tweets on Thursday claiming that the airline forced her sister to check carry on bag because, of course, there's no room in the cabin. She shared that the suitcase was sent through a shredder with regalia inside. The regalia included fully beaded moccasins, a belt, and a top that had been passed down from the sister's family. TIGERLILY007 sister identified as 20 year old Catalan A. Peters would later tell the Daily Mail. Calm that she was using her sister's account to share her experience as she had a large following as she doesn't normally use Twitter. We both have been trying to deal with Delta in many different ways, Peters said. They have taken a long time to respond, or not at all. The whole situation is very upsetting to our entire family. We're talking about family history. Peters and her sister had been traveling from Albuquerque, New Mexico, to Toronto, Canada, after competing at the Gathering of Nations Pow Wow. She shared that she was from the Muncie, Delaware Nation in Whitefish River First Nation No. 4 and that she was just a contestant in the Miss Indian World pageant. Doc, the moccasins were family heirlooms given to me in trust to represent my family and nation, she said. Adding that they came from her people on Manitoulin Island, Canada. Very valuable, loved and treasured. Using her sister's page, Peters decided to post the items after her initial correspondence with the Delta representatives. While she had valued the items at $3,500 cat, roughly $2,635, the airline representative noted that Peters was unable to provide a receipt or bank statement to substantiate the original purchases. Delta added that instead of denying the claim and because the items were dated, they would only reimburse her $704.99 cat, approximately $530. The breakdown consisted of $112.50 cat, $84.70 for the moccasins that were purchased in 1910, $150 cat, $112. 94 for the belt purchased in 1987, $50 cat, $37.65 for the top purchased in 1987 and $162. 50 cat, $122.35 for her makeup purchased in 2017. I lost all my gifts purchased from craft vendors at the Pow Wow, where everything is done by cash and no receipts are given, Peters added. So I can't be compensated for my thank you gifts to all my supporters' family for helping me on my journey to Miss Indian World. I also lost other regalia items like handcrafted jewelry and headpieces. Delta Airline could not be reached for a comment. However, the airline did reach out to a TIGERLILY007 via Twitter on numerous occasions as the post became viral. I understand this situation is very frustrating, but in order to try and help you, I would need your file reference number or case number," they said in one tweet. But a TIGERLILY007 responded, Don't worry I will. 
I can't believe it took me posting to social media for you to look at your ridiculous compensation. Peters later added, the full value of the artifacts are beyond priceless and highly treasured. The valuables can never be fully compensated. How does something like that even happen? Honestly. Many users on Twitter shared their displeasure with the airline and how they handled the situation. A lot of users were also shocked that the airline seriously wanted a TIGERLILY007 to have receipts from well over a century ago. She would continue with an explanation on the origins of the items, sharing that they were given in trust. Priceless handmade family heirlooms given to me in trust to represent my family and where we are from, she asserted. Destroyed. I literally cried for days. Not to mention my eagle feathers that were damaged and my regalia pieces that were lost BC you know. Receipts. As the airline was inundated with criticism, Peters and her sister also took them to task for not understanding indigenous culture. I gather Delta is getting a lesson in how NDN country works and how much value we place on our cultural artifacts at TIGERLILY007 stated. Were indigenous people even allowed to have bank accounts in 1910? Or practice our culture, language and traditions? No real question at Delta. Share this article Share Peters later told DailyMail.com It's a familial collective communal responsibility to keep our heritage, culture, customs, way of life and being alive. Represented by regalia, language, stories, song, dance. We are fighting to preserve our way of life. While Delta initially responded that they didn't have the information for the representative supervisor, they eventually notified at TIGERLILY007 that they were sending her claim to the supervisor. Delta appears to have this problem with other passengers as well. Adria Auxilion shared that his bag was ran over on the tarmac and that the compensation he received barely covered the money he spent on several collectible items. All I got from this account was good luck with your claim. And nothing else, the user said. I'm working on a letter to corporate support that lays out every reason why these policies suck and why I'm done being a